it's a pleasure to be joined today by Max Finberg, who is the, help me now, the director of the Center for Faith-Based and Neighborhood Partnerships. Bingo! Whoa. I read that off the teleprompter. So, Max, how are you? I am alive and grateful. Excellent. And thank you, Brad, for having me. Yeah, I uh, am honored to be part of President Obama's Faith-Based and Neighborhood Partnership Initiative. Yes, yes. When President Obama came in office, he said, there are a lot of policies that I disagreed with and I'm going to change, but the Faith-Based Initiative is not one of them. Mm -hmm. So two weeks in office, he said, I'm going to revamp, revitalize, and rename this Faith-Based Initiative. I'm going to give it a few priorities. And one of those priorities is promoting responsible fatherhood and healthy families. It's such a personal gig for him. He grew up without a dad. And he said, even as president of the United States, commander in chief, the best and the biggest job I have is to be a dad to Malia and Sasha. Rock on, Prez, that's great. Right. That's one, one of the things that I like, the description of the program, you say you're trying to encourage guys to participate in parenting. What do you mean by that? You can go check out fatherhood.gov. Uh -huh. Whole slew of resources. You can take a pledge that says, I'm going to be engaged in my kid's life. Mm -hmm. And that's where we're, we're working on getting the word out that government can't make up the difference. Right. It's our job. It's absolutely our job. There's things government can do, and we're doing that darn well. I'll get to that in a minute. Right. But we cannot make up for a dad that isn't there. Yeah. We say the first role, the first rule of fatherhood is showing up. And so you gotta, you gotta show up. And it may mean you might sacrifice something. May you sacrifice something professionally. May you sacrifice something economically. But it's worth it in the end. It's always worth it. There's nobody else who can really play that role of dad. What are some of the work-life programs that are in place right now that can, I, can help dads be good Great dads? Question. And do you, do you see any uh, legislation on the horizon that would help the paternity leave system? Great question. So back in the 90s, President Clinton signed the bill, the Family and Medical Leave Act. It's not as good as Sweden, mm -hmm. but it's for the first time in history, on the books, law of the land, you can get paternity leave. I got a month. My son was born. I took the month off. The world somehow continued without me. Yes, imagine that. My wife was blessed. She didn't have to cook. She didn't have to clean. Our daughter was taken care of. All of that was such a blessing. And that's available to everybody right now. Mm -hmm. Do they take it? Mm, that's the issue. You took it. There's no stigma to it. People got to realize, no stigma. Take it. Be there. It's one of the most cherished times of your life. And if more and more guys start taking it, it's going to become easier. Bingo. People are going to, going to accept it. The other part of the question is what's happening right now. President Obama has proposed additional resources to promote responsible fatherhood. Mm -hmm. Through the Department of Health and Human Services, we got a whole administration on children and families. And we're trying to do whatever we can do to help resource the community groups that are promoting responsible fatherhood. You and me who have made, and, and most of our viewers who have made a commitment to be there and be engaged in our kids' lives and be co-parents. Thank you. We need to talk, we need to talk about it. We need to talk about it with lots of people and get it out there in the community to say, this is important, we're doing it, you do it. Amen. Amen, there we go.